I'm Azuz, and this is Trade Up Blitz number six. Hopefully, it's going to be the biggest and baddest Trade Up Blitz episode yet. I have about $500 worth of skins to get through, and without further ado, I think we should get into it. Oh, and don't forget to enter into my Times 4 AK Redline giveaway. Ending soon, don't miss out. So, I'm doing it's only nine trade ups all up. It's, it's not as many in past episodes, but they're much more expensive trade ups than usual. I've got a, a couple of sort of cheap starter trade ups here. As you can see, there's a restricted uh, wildfire and spectrum one, there's a couple of Faust and shadow combinations. But if we go to the next page, as you can see, I'm doing a whole bunch of trade ups for Factory New Onitaji, six all up actually, um, including two Star Trek Factory New. So this should be fairly exciting. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to pick up another Stat Track Factory on Itaji. It's a pretty sweet profit, so that's what I'm hoping for. I actually calculated the odds of getting only 5 7 Hyper Beasts, and it comes to about 0.03%, so I'm not feeling too bad, but in the meantime, I think we should get started on the first trade up. I'm going to use this as sort of like a omen for how the rest of it's going to go, so hopefully, not too bad. I want to avoid a Zianglu or a Nova Hyper Beast. Those are sort of the bad outcomes. Or at least in the case of Zianglu, I can use it subsequently on other things, so it's not a complete disaster. But hopefully we'll get a Decimator or a Kamicho Dragon, something like that. A you know, nice little profit to hopefully symbolize how the rest of the video is going to go. Or maybe not. Um, at least that's useful elsewhere. I can use it in other trade-ups. But I need to be careful to make sure I don't accidentally use this in some of the Onitaji trade-ups. It's not going to ruin them, but I'd rather hang on to it. It's got a good float. In the meantime, let's see how this goes. What I really want to avoid is getting a Golden Coil. Like, they're, they're just... I've gotten so many of those recently. No... That's alright. That's more or less... You more or less break even on that. But, as I was saying... So, I'm trying to get a kill confirmed here with the Shadow Case skins. And I, I don't think I've gotten a kill confirmed for a couple of months, but I've gotten a whole bunch of golden coils. So, as you can imagine, it's a bit annoying. You lose about $10 when you get a golden coil, so they're best avoided. Um, let's see how this goes. Okay, that's alright. I'll take that. That's a profit. So anyway, on to the central attraction, which is the Onitaji trade-ups. A mixture of... Um, Spectrum and Hy Hydra Case skins. Hydra Case is going back up as well. It dipped for a while, but now it's looking a bit better. So this one uses field tested Copper Strikes and a couple of Minimal Oise Anglues. This one's designed though so I can get a factory on Itaji. Um, of course, that just makes it even more painful if I get a Hyper Beast. So, really hope that doesn't happen. Okay, rip. Probably $20 or something. Okay, not. Not great. Hopefully that'll be the last the last hyper beast we get though. We'll be all good. So I've got a couple of proper. Let's just make sure I got the floats the floats right. Um, I did there. Okay. Anyway, what well, what I was saying was I've got a couple of proper factory new trade ups so we can get a factory new hyper beast as well. So I'm not too worried in that in that case. Um, because let's make sure I do use the right right skin as well. I said I'd mix that up, but um, looks like I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Now. So this one's for a minimal wear on Itaji, um, so it'll suck a bit if I get this one after failing the last one, I'd rather have had it the other way around. Um, but I've got a couple of proper Factory New trade-ups later where I can get Factory New Hyper Beasts, and those are a profit once they're in the Factory New range. And that is my first on Itaji. It's not the on Itaji I wanted, but I'll take it. It's still a profit. Okay, so these ones are proper factory new trade up so so any skin i get out of it will be factory new including the yep once again using the this is the angle that i wasn't meant to as you can see but if i get a, a hyper beast here it'll be factory new which isn't normal when people do these trade ups but um at that point i don't think it's possible for me to lose money doing this particular trade up like i think everything is a profit it's just some things aren't as profitable as others like, you, st you still want a Onitaji, it's still the best thing there. Um, I think a Factory New Hyper Beast might be a little bit better than a Blood Sport as well, actually. Um, and I got that Hyper Beast, so... Oh, well, it's still a profit. 
as you can see, factory new. So let's move on to the next one now. Let's see if I can avoid clicking on that. Yep, see, see. I almost went through it, but I noticed. I'm going to keep that one safe for the next trade-up video I do. Um, see if we can get a low float on Itaji. I'd really like to get one personally, but I guess we'll see. I think it's good. Okay, sweet, sweet. Okay, we are... We're two for two, actually. It's been all Hydra all the way. But in any case, that brings me to the the real fun stuff. I've got two factory new Onitaji trade-ups. They're sort of 50-50. You win on the Bloodsport and the Onitaji. You get destroyed on the Hyper Beast. Oh, the the um the US USPS is okay, but still really like really like a uh, Onitaji. Kind of sucks if I got two five seven Hyper Beasts. Six in a row is unlikely, but two is possible. So, we are about to find out. Fuck yeah! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I'm glad that worked out. I'm really glad that worked out. Okay. Big relief. I think it's a, a, a well-deserved moment of catharsis, personally. At least that's my excuse. But, um, we should see if we can get a second on Itachi just to really wrap things up and drive things home. Doesn't really matter at this point. I think I'm safely, safely in the black. I don't know how international that phrase is, but it just means you're in profit rather than loss. Being in loss is in the red. Um, so I feel like it's a lot less exciting now, now that it doesn't have the potential to screw me over. Um, it's not only Taji. Okay, okay, so it's a USPS Neo Noir, which... I'm going to get most of my money back on that. I'll have to check to see exactly how much, but um, that's that's not terrible. I'll settle for that. In the meantime, though, I think it's time I crunched the numbers and found out how much money I made. Okay, so I've added up the numbers. These are buy order prices on the Steam market and the sales prices on the Steam market after Steam tax. So I put in about $500 and made about $600, so roughly a 20% profit. Here's the thing, though. And I think this is a problem that's been a long time coming. I've actually made a lot more money than this. I'm going to be selling this stuff on OP skins rather than the Steam market. Or putting it on trading sites or other things like that. And I know basically for a fact that I'm actually going to get much better profits from these places. It's just been a thing over the last year or so that the Steam market has gradually been getting less and less lucrative to work on. And I don't really use it these days unless I have to. So I think this makes the whole running total I've been keeping a little bit obsolete. So I'll probably have a rethink about how I'm doing this series. I do have a separate series called Get Wrecked Trade Ups where I am using OP skins prices. So I may end up combining the two. I'm not sure whether I'll do a complete rebrand yet, but we'll see. Either way, I'm pretty happy with my closing total though. I've done pretty well. The trade ups have gone mercifully good every time the camera's been on and I hope people have enjoyed it in any case I'll be doing plenty more trade-ups in the future so anyway if you enjoyed this please like comment subscribe I'd really appreciate it otherwise trust the numbers not your gut I'm Jesus thanks for watching see ya